guys, my name is Ruth Onajomo and I'm live on Soto Bliss TV and you're welcome to Fashion and Trend. It's your favorite girl, but today I'm not alone. I'm here with a guest on the show. Yes, a guest. She's an online fashion entrepreneur, a very pretty lady. With me is Miss Loveth Akpan. She's the owner of the LM brand NG on Instagram. Say hi to the people. Hello everyone. My name is Akban Lovett and I'm the owner of the LM brand Nigeria. And I've been into fashion business for like five years, five to That's six years now. Yeah, it is. Okay, Miss Lovett, um, I want to ask you something. Um, okay. Fashion is something that fashion, style, trend, it's, it's, it's one of the norms. It's like a way of life, right? Yeah. But there's challenges that you face as an entrepreneur in fashion mm -hmm. because everybody now is into this business. Like everybody basically is into fashion. So how do you thrive in the whole, in the stiff and in the competition of this, of this time? Please tell us. Okay, actually being in fashion is a matter of passion and being in any business deals with passion actually. So if you have passion for your business, you try to do everything to stand out. And one of the problems we face as fashion entrepreneurs are basically one, pricing, since the market is saturated, everybody is trying to beat the price to get the customers, to get the buyers. But you as a fashion entrepreneur, knowing your thing, and knowing your brand, knowing or positioning your brand in a very, in, in a good way that it is perceived, you have to try to stand on the same price, or should I say, on a level of price that is accepting. So you're yeah. saying now that um, because everybody is, you know, into the business, you have yeah. to reduce your price yeah, a to a point where you can get more customers. Mm. Because now I think this wholesale thing, how does how does how does it really work though? Actually, the problem starts from the wholesalers. You know, when these wholesalers tend to start selling directly to the customers in a lower price. Then it breaches that gap yeah, for you. Yeah, that was supposed to fail. So these hustlers bridge it. Then we have to fight or competing over so customers. So you have to beat your yeah, price. Yeah, you beat your price down or you uh, push your brand to a level that any price you say it is, to buy it. So that is it. Well, that's 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 a new one to it. Yeah. Anyway, guys. Okay, see, I have I have one more question to ask you. Um, okay. You know, your business is strictly online. So how do you drag customers? Because she doesn't have a shop anywhere. Her business is strictly on Instagram, guys. So how do you attract customers to your business to patronize you, to buy from you? Okay, that's all on positioning your brand online. Utilizing all social media platforms. You can use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even WhatsApp. And it all depends on how you place your brand online. If you place your brand as the in-brand, like the in-team, everybody will be attracted to it but if you place your brand like someone who is desperate for money per perhaps you're doing it for passion then it is like so passion is the secret weapon. yes the center of everything the secret spice yeah okay um if you can see she brought a dress on my mannequin behind me yep. a very fine dress with flay and polka dots so she's going to tell us how we can style this dress because dress is generally you have to it is the styling that brings it out because a dress is just a dress you have to style it, you have to wear the perfect shoes, the perfect bag, put on the perfect hair, wear makeup right. So this dress right here, she's going to tell us how to put it together to make you look very, very fresh. You know me now, with me, you cannot be caught on fresh. I have to deliver to you guys, and back to back. So tell us, how can we style that dress? Okay, this is a simple polka dot dress, a chiffon polka dot dress. How you style it, just putting on a simple stiletto heels and a clutch possibly depends on where you're going to or a big handbag if you're going to the office with it and a simple hairstyle and a neutral makeup would do mm. and yeah. this dress i think you can wear it to church yeah. i think i can wear it to a wedding mm -hmm. you can wear it to a conference yeah, it's it. so on and so forth anyway guys we don't have so much time let her tell us advise young people that want to go into this fashion business tell them what they should expect tell them how they should put themselves together mm -hmm you know how not to give up on it because business now is almost is stiff we're not gonna lie for you not be not be not be <coughs> not be beans not understand uh -huh. so just give them some words of encouragement please so as a young woman you want to enter into the fashion business the number one advice i have to ask or tell you is be passionate about it after being passionate about it never give up try to always show up and make any attempts Try your best to always stand out, to be different from the others. That's how you stand up and that's how you attract the right people to you. Mm. So never give up. 
always show up be passionate about it and, and try to stand out anyway guys you have to go and check out our page on ig please tell them your handle please the ellen brand the t-h-e-l-n brand ng on ig the lm brand ng on instagram you yeah. get a lot of good and affordable things there so guys it's been a wonderful time having miss love at aquan on the show today i have to go now but i'll be right back next week same time same place and before i leave please follow so to tv on instagram at so to tv on youtube at so to tv on twitter at so to tv check us out check our videos like subscribe thank you guys i'll be back here same time next week see you bye